Okay, so you just got into high school and you're ready to deal with the challenges around school and in order to get into a good college. Now you may be wondering how to get a good SAT score, how to get a good GPA, and what clubs to join. Well today we're going to be interviewing a few teachers at Chambly High and see what they have to say. Okay, so what is the thing that most people have a misconception of? I'm glad you asked that, Simone, because uh, most people think that the PSAT doesn't matter, that it's just practice. That's not true. You can get scholarships just from taking the PSAT and doing well. It's also true that people that take the PSAT will do better on the SAT than those who haven't taken the PSAT. So it's a good practice. Is the PSAT harder than the SAT? The PSAT is built for 10th graders and the SAT is built for 11th graders. So the PSAT is a little bit easier, but it's the same type of questions, the same material, the same format, the same time, etc. Okay, well, I had a good time interviewing you and I can't wait to take those SATs. Hi, Mr. Jones. So I was wondering to interview you and I just wanted to ask a few questions. So one of the questions is, what is FBLA? What does it exactly do? The FBLA is Future Business Leaders of America, and it is the oldest uh, student-led organization in the country for high school students. And what it does, it prepares students in their business uh, for a business career. It also gives them opportunity to see what they like and what they don't like in the business world. It has over 60 different competitions on one level and about 70 on another level for students to compete in. And how will this benefit students? Well, the, 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 the knowledge of leadership and business is in, invaluable. Students will be able to take it on with them for the rest of their lives, and it'll allow them to search through the business uh, field and say, hey, this is for me, this is not. And it gives them a chance to, to zone in on a career so that when they go to college, perhaps they will, they will have their minds made up a little bit sooner rather than wasting a lot of time in college. Oh, and also I have another question, but what are the misconceptions about FBLA? Like, what is the um, information that people don't really know about FBLA, but people should know the most? I, I think what they should know is that FBLA carries some of the top students throughout the nation. And it's a club where everybody can benefit by figuring out some things about learning about themselves, building character, confidence, and learning leadership qualities and traits while they're in high school. And again, that information is very invaluable to any student in their developmental growth. Welcome to a new year in Skills USA. Make the most of it by committing yourself right now to being an active and engaged member in your chapter. SkillsUSA's theme this year is SkillsUSA Champions at Work. I'm ready. The SkillsUSA framework provides a common language for all of our members. It assesses student skill development and it creates a vision for all of our SkillsUSA programs. The SkillsUSA framework actualizes SkillsUSA's mission in developing career readiness skills. In recent years, there has been a social network takeover on society. There are varying opinions on whether the effect has been positive or negative. On the bright side, people are able to advocate for good causes they believe in, like fundraisers. Also, there are social media sites that build a sense of empathy and togetherness. If you are suffering from a specific problem, such as cancer, you can find sites that show that you are not alone and that you can get through this. Unfortunately, social media can be detrimental to society. Cyberbullying is a large problem because people close to the victim can anonymously attack the person through social media, leading to depression and a sense of loneliness. Productivity also decreases. Whether it be at work or when you are just trying to finish a project, social media can be a large distraction. This is because it is easier to post selfies on Instagram than it is to use your time wisely and finish science fair. Overall though, social media is a positive advent of the 21st century. It allows for more job opportunities, better communication, a sense of togetherness, and even money raised for the less fortunate. Hopefully these negative qualities can be phased out throughout the next few years.